Hi, and thanks for watching. Today's card features the Kitty Pals stencil and the fur stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. I also used an embossing folder to give this card a little texture. I'm going to take you step by step through how I created it. But first, I wanted to share with you more information about the new release August 2022 for A Colorful Life Designs. There's 15 new designs, including lots of dog and cat themed stencils. If you're like me and you gotta have it all, there's a master creator bundle that is 20% off. I'll have this link below in my description box. And also, if you are interested, please feel free to use my coupon code TracyFan10 when you check out. This will save you 10% off all regular priced items. This doesn't include the master designer bundle, but it would give you a 10% discount on everything else because that bundle is already discounted. So to get started, I've taken the frame of the Kitty Pal stencil and I'm using my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. I'm using some Catherine Puller inks. I'm using Twilight for the cat on the left. And the mat that I'm using underneath my cardstock is a just a silicone baking mat from Cook's Essential. It's just something that helps to keep my paper in place. I really like the Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station, but it is a little slippery. And having this mat on top of it just gives my paper a little bit of grip or something to grip onto. So yes, this is a silhouette stencil. And it features two large cat heads and chests. And this is similar to another stencil out of Colorful Life Designs called Puppy Pals. And so now we have Kitty Pals. So I'm just trying to fill in with this gray ink. And it's a little spotty. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. Um, because I am going to use an embossing folder. Just to give it a little bit more texture. So I'm not too worried about that spot look. Um, I think it's just the paper that I was using. Um, there's several different kind of papers that I use. This is probably the Accent Opaque 80 pound. It's not the best for blending. I also like to use Hammer Mill Premium Color Copy Cover Cardstock, either 80 or 100 pounds. And that is really nice and smooth. But you see, I'm just working it. I'm just adding the ink, getting that to be grayer. Uh, you can see just by continuing to add ink over top of what I've already blended, I'm getting a nice effect, I think. All right. Now, the next color that I'm going to use is Sandcastle. These are both Catherine Puller inks. Now, I think my Sandcastle ink was a little bit juicier. It just seems to go down a little bit better. So when you're ink blending and filling in these large sections, you want to have a juicy ink pad. That's really important. So re-ink it possibly before you go to try this technique. That really helps. And again, the paper, the smoother the paper, uh, the better results you're going to have with ink blending. All right, so now we have a gray cat and a brown cat. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this stencil frame up. And there you have the two silhouette cats. However, this stencil also comes with what we call the negative space or the mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this mask over top of what I just ink blended. And then I'm going to grab another stencil and layer that in the background on this piece. So this is new release. It's called Fur. And I'm going to use a light gray ink to go ahead and ink blend that. I'm just making sure that everything is lined up straight. And then using my magnets that come with my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. I'm just using the leftover ink right now. But then I go ahead and I I'll grab some more magnets just to make sure everything stays put. And I'm going to use Blackjack which is actually a little bit darker than Twilight. Twilight is the color that I did that first cat in. 
I really could have switched these inks and done the darker color for the cat and the lighter color for the fur, but it's okay because in the end it looks really nice and I'm just using a light touch to apply this ink so I'm not getting a heavy hand in any way here. And so it is going to be just a nice light background. It's going to look like animal fur, which I think is really what a great idea, especially for this release because there are all kinds of stencils with cats and dogs and whatnot. Having that animal fur is great as an sort of a secondary stencil to use. I'm just using a small blending brush to apply this ink. And again, the masks are down over top of the kitty heads, so I'm not getting that directly on top of what I've already ink blended. So that's what's nice about a colorful life design, it's having that regular part of the stencil which is the framed in part and then also having the masks it just makes it so much easier to create a project like this okay so let's reveal how does this look oh that looks nice let me go ahead and put the lids on my ink and go ahead and pull the plastic mask off because so i want to see how this looks now that i've done the blending oh that looks nice perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Next, I'm going to use an embossing folder from my stash. This embossing folder has three different textures. At the top, it has crosses. The middle, it has like little arrows. And the bottom, it has little plus signs. So the idea being just to add a little bit of texture to what I already ink blended. So let's go ahead and run this through my machine. And you'll see what it looks like once I pull it out. Oh, it looks pretty cool. I like the texture that it's provided, and I like that it has three different styles of texture, not all the same. A friend of mine, Stacy, actually reminded me to use some embossing folders in my stenciling videos. So it's nice to have crafty friends to remind you, give you ideas, just to change things up slightly, just so it's not the same old, same old. All right, as I'm finishing this, I'm basically doing some pretty easy to understand things here. I'm just trimming things down and putting them onto the card base. I do want to say that I know I sound a little bit rough. Um, my husband and I both have COVID right now and I am in day five of my COVID. So I started having symptoms on Tuesday and today's Saturday um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday were very, very rough. Um, just the amount of congestion, coughing, and mucus that I was dealing with, and, and also really bad sore throat and really bad headache. But we went this morning and we were tested um, both positive. So I am taking antiviral medications right now. And I joked because my husband and I's wedding anniversary is on Monday. We've been married 30 years. So it's like, oh, happy anniversary. I mean, happy COVID anniversary, honey, which is a total bummer. So we're just staying away from everybody and just keeping our fingers crossed that our son stays healthy and doesn't get it too. Uh, although I know it's difficult when you're in the same house. Um, yeah, so it's no fun, folks. And I've been vaccinated and boosted and still got really sick. Um, This little sentiment strip is from Tailored Expressions. And it's part of the Tailored Expressions line where you can get several sentiments on one stamp and then use one die to cut out all the sentiments. But I thought I wanted to add a little bit of color because my card is really in neutral colors. It's got the grays and the brown. And I thought if I use a little bit of pink just to brighten this up, that might give it a nice little pop of color. All right, so I'm just using whatever residual ink was on my blending brush at the time. Looks like a Catherine Puller pucker up. 
I'm going to go ahead and use some foam tape to pop up that sentiment. And I'd like to say that I appreciate each and every one of you for watching my video. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you would subscribe and ring the bell so that you're notified of my future videos. Um, please le leave a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I appreciate each and every comment and reading each and every one of them. They mean the world to me. So I'm going to give you my coupon code one more time, TracyFan10, and then show you a still photo of the final card. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new, please subscribe and hit the ring the bell button. That way you'll be notified of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.